Hi, it's Stuart Sutton at System 7 Real Estate Coaching and Workshops. Hope you're having a great day so far, and welcome back to your future, dominating your market. I hope by now you believe that you truly can, because as I said in the very first session, expertise is something that consumers need. A higher level of knowledge, a higher level of expertise is something they demand. You will be needed and wanted, unlike typical general real estate agents. And that's not any knock on us real estate agents who, who serve our customers the very best we can, but a specialist just has a different level of perception in the consumer's eyes. So once you have chosen the niche, and by the way, I hope you know your numbers. I hope you've chosen a niche. I hope you know how many homes sold. I hope you know the success ratio. How many went on the market versus how many sold? How successful is that niche? I hope you know the average price. Hope you know the average days in the market. Hope you know the hotness ratio. How hot is that niche right now? You know those numbers, and not only are the people you talk to going to be impressed, but you're going to be able to make better decisions about how you work your niche. So you've chosen a niche. Let's talk about branding it now. Branding it is basically putting it in your name. You are the one that people need to turn to when they want this type of expertise. All right, you're not a Coca-Cola, you're not a Nike. You can't spend that kind of money. We're going to teach you on a budget how to go about branding that niche and linking it to you in the consumer's mind. Actually, I'm going to take a step sideways. The consumer doesn't even have to link it to you or your name. If they are responding to your brand, they're responding to you. Okay? So, I have one called One Acre Plus Team. I've actually since changed this. It's One Acre Plus Homes. No big difference to you guys. The logo's the same. Everything's the same. I just did it uh, for uh, the purpose of looking more like a real estate uh, entity than a team in a real estate entity. Okay. So basically, you can go to guru.com, G-U-R-U.com, or you can have a high school or college or friend builds you a logo. It's really pretty easy to do if you know your way around Photoshop. Um, I've spent anywhere from $25 to $100 on logos and I've done lots of them. So they're just not very expensive to do but the impact of a logo is incredible. The impact of a logo looks like a business. It looks like a specialty. It looks like well it's credibility is what it is. Now you're gonna make your claim that goes along with your logo. We were the leader in selling homes on an acre or more this month because we sold more. We were the leader in selling homes on an acre or more when we started because we did truly know more. I knew every house in the market. I knew all about the market. I knew everything about the market, all the stats, all the ratios, all the numbers. Nobody else did. That made me the leader. I was more knowledgeable than anybody else. Make your claim. And here's the thing. If it's in writing, consumers are very likely to believe it if it's in writing then if it's verbal so I associate all of my brands with a claim and a logo now the next thing you do is create a USP a unique selling proposition that's unique to you and your niche what do you do what do you provide what is it that makes them want to work with you. Now, let me tell you this. You may have a USP that is fairly generous when you start, and that's to get your foot in the door. Let me give you a quick story. When I first started coaching with Rand Smith, the absolute expert in marketing, when I started coaching with Rand Smith, I wanted to get into an expensive neighborhood. I sold very low priced homes. I sold a lot of them, but I sold low priced ones. The very first uh, listing presentation I went on in this expensive neighborhood I wanted to get into, I took the listing for free. It was a substantial commission. As a matter of fact, the biggest one I would have ever had. I took the listing for free. In return, that seller gave me a letter telling everybody else what a great job I did. So I took that letter and I distributed it through that neighborhood in my marketing. Within six months, I owned that neighborhood. I sold and listed more homes in that neighborhood in the next year than any other agents. As a matter of fact, than all the others combined. So, foregoing 
immediate profit can mean long-term gain. So I'll give you an example. Okay, The One Acre Plus team guarantees that you'll love your new home on an acre or more or we'll sell it for free. What does that mean? Very simply, if they're not 100% satisfied, we're going to sell it and not charge them a commission. Guess what? We already made one when they bought it. So if they're not, if, if that just wasn't for them, let's just say you work in townhomes. They just don't, they don't really like the townhome lifestyle. We'll sell it for free. We're probably going to sell them something else anyway. But the goodwill that builds is incredible. Just so you know, I've had to do this two times in like 14 years. There are other USPs you can have. All right, I claim to have the best move-up program on the market. We guarantee that they're going to love their new home. That's what I just mentioned. And we guarantee that we're going to sell their other home. Very straightforward. We're going to sell their home in 39 days or we won't charge them a commission. Guess what? We already have a commission because they bought our home on acreage. Probably a double-ended transaction. But we are aggressive. I will tell you, I've never had to take zero commission on the 39-day guarantee. Now, you may not have to do this. You may not have to do it for long. Bottom line is, your USP doesn't have to involve money. But risk reversal, when someone sees that you're willing to put your money where your mouth is, it has very high impact. Okay, So we've got a logo, we've got a claim, and we've got a unique selling proposition. Let's go branded. The first thing you're going to do is the minor stuff, the easy stuff. Business cards are easy, but they have a lot of impact. Okay, They're easy, they have a lot of impact. They're cheap, have a lot of impact. You notice the One Acre Plus team, the claim, and my information. Now, the USP is on the back of this card. I like it to be on the front, but the way this one was designed, I just had to put it on the back. Okay. It does not have to have a background like this. It can be a plain business card, but it's kind of cool if, uh, if you've got a faded background that has to do with your niche. It just gives the visual of the business card a little more power. Once again, you don't have to. I, in a rush, I actually just ordered uh, some business cards that didn't have the visual background. It's okay. Same thing with letterhead. Now, just so you know, I order business cards and have them printed. I don't order letterhead. I print it on my printer. I basically made a uh, template of this, and every time I print a letter or anything going out to somebody on for my one acre plus niche, they have this letterhead. It's printed out with the letter. It's easy to do. You probably know how to do that. I probably don't even need to explain it. Same thing. Well, I'm sorry. Postcards. This is one of the other things I do spend money on. I actually order shells. And as you can see, to the right would be the address, and the back side of this card would be the message. You don't have to do it that way. I spent years never buying a postcard, never buying one at all. And now I buy shells because... I believe that they look better, they're high impact, and they have the logo, the claim, the USP. Okay? So, thank you notes. Same thing. I don't have these ordered. I've just got a template on my computer where it prints out with the information at the bottom. Showing cards. Oh, this is a good one, you guys. This is a good one. Uh, once again, I don't order these. I print them out when I go preview homes a, a handful at a time. When I go preview a home, I'll leave this card. As you can see, it's got the logo and the claim and my information. Now on the right, you see the uh, uh, email address is faded out. When you print it out, it's not like that. I don't know why the uh, um, this uh, this program faded it out. Well, I do, but um, but it it's uh, in bold blue and when you when you print it out. So I'll leave this card. It's four times the size of any other business card. I get listings on a continuous basis from my niche from people whose homes expired or they withdrew and did not sell them and then when they get ready to list again they call me because they remember that I showed or previewed their home and they remember that I was courteous enough to leave comments. I didn't have to wait on their agent to get them to them. Some agents never do. Okay. Now this is very high impact and I'm going to show you how to use something as simple as previewing to get listings in your niche. That's some of the basic stuff. Here's some of the stuff you might not have thought of. The pre-listing package, expired package, buyer package, and buyer package. Now, these are on the site right here. You can access these.
As a matter of fact, they're neutral. They don't have my information or logo or information. You can put yours right in. So this is, for example, the beginning of the expired package. You see how it is branded toward the niche. Here's just a couple more pages in it. See the bottom? Branded toward the niche. Here is a page that gives them examples of what I have done in their niche. Gives me credibility, gives me history. And we're going to talk about uh, more detail about the pre-listing package and, and other things in another session. So we move to websites. You need to go get unique domains. I have oneacreplus.com for example. I have c1acreplushomes.com. I have oneacreplusvalues.com. Now oneacreplus.com is my main website. C1acreplushomes is a landing page that I use to send people to so they can actually click on a link to see whatever homes they want to see. I'll show you that in just a minute. I'm going to go into a lot of detail on the online marketing session. Not as much detail on this. Point is, right now you need to get domains. They're cheap, 10, 11 bucks each at GoDaddy.com. Don't go spend 15, 20, 30, 40 dollars on one. I don't, you know, there's so many people that just get robbed nowadays by spending that kind of money on domains. You can get them all day long at GoDaddy for 10 or 11 dollars. So, go get the domains that match, okay? And you can get creative. You can mess around. Uh, um, for example, if you live in Salt Lake City, saltlakesbestcondos.com. If you live in uh, Kansas City, kansascitysbestcondos.com. There's a lot of different things you can do. Go ahead and get those domains because you're going to need those for your websites, okay? Now, once you have your website, you need inventory on it. What we found is that people will go look at your website and if you're not carrying inventory, if you don't have homes from them to see that match your niche, you're not credible. So two things here. Full website with branding on it. You can see the branding all over the front page of this website. Now, I'm not going to go into detail on the website. We're talking about branding today. Your website needs to be branded. This is a landing page. I'll give you an example of the process. Now I'm going over this in detail in another session, but I send them from AdWords or from Craigslist or from uh, a flyer or from a postcard to c1acreplushomes.com. They land on this. There's a video of me explaining, hey, this is where you can see all the homes you want to see on an acre or more. There is a list of links. They can see homes in an acre or more in Georgetown, in Cedar Park, in Round Rock, in Pflugerville. When they click on one of those, they simply go to this website. Now, not the front page of this website, but a page in this website with the search results that they want. So, click on a link, land on a page here. Very simply, it's a three-step process. I'm going to show you in online marketing how to accomplish that three step process but here's the point you see the branding one acre plus homes now here is my current claim when you want to make absolutely certain you'll see the best homes on acreage and for sellers when you want to make absolutely certain more qualified buyers will see your home on an acre or more okay so I've got a claim for buyers a claim for sellers branding is absolutely critical the basics business cards postcards letterhead thank you notes extended pre-listing package buyer packages online branding those have to be in place it starts with a logo a unique selling proposition and a claim and remember it's your choice so make it a powerful day